There we go. Okay, give me a little test on the mic. Uh, testing, testing, testing. What's happening today? It's my birthday. And who's gonna who's gonna come for your birthday? Jake, Dallin, not Hunter, because he doesn't want to come. He's gonna give me a Mr. Freeze costume, but I don't care if he doesn't come to a party. Or if he gives me a present. Alright, Zaid, how old are you? Six. And what's that you got in the cage there? Sam's cousin you bought me. Ah, very lucky boy. And do they bite sometimes? Yeah, literally when I pick them up. This is how I get them without biting me. I grab pieces of food and drag them over, and then the other hand comes and grabs it. <laughs> nice. Um, what did you do for your birthday? What kind of birthday was it? Hulk smash. Who came to your birthday? About everyone this time. Not when I turned five, I really didn't have all my friends. We didn't have the center of their end. We didn't really have Cindy Bear there. This one has a lot more people. Yeah, you have a lot of friends. Did you get any good presents? Yeah. Um, what, Especially the Nerf guy and the sweater shirt. What kind of decorations did you have? Green and Oak special. And pictures and stuff. And you got a new bike, right? Do you like your bike? Yeah. You couldn't ride it the first time. Why don't you tell me about that? I'm like, no, this is stupid. And what happened today? You learned how to ride it, right? Yep. That's awesome. Do you have anything else to say about your birthday party? Do you like being six? Yeah, I feel much older than just me like a little baby kid. I used to feel like that when I was only five. Now do you feel like an old man? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you feel like? I just feel like a, a big teenager. A teenager? That's awesome. And look, he can be running right now. Oh yeah, he totally is. I can see it. Did he stop? Oh, he stopped. He got scared because he moved the cage. Action. So today is my birthday. But when I woke up and half the day, I was all sad because I didn't get a present or a birth or a party, which I always wanted. Well, which I usually. And today, mom, me and mom, went on a fun day and bought me some stuff for my birthday and that made me happy. And that's what we've done so far. We got this, which I'm gonna hang one of our projects on. Got a new bed, new pillowcase, and I'm gonna hang this, but don't have enough time. Well, since we're doing this, yeah, we don't have enough time. And and Explain why you chose that blanket. And here's why I cho chose this blanket and pillowcase and this whole entire set of blanket. Because it's because I like sports and they're my favorite thing to do and spend time agreeing. And and that's all I want to tell you. Have a good day, bye. Okay, Zaid, uh, tell me what day it is today. My not so is yes birthday because we're just having the birthday party a little early because tomorrow's my birthday, real birthday. Today's just the party. What? Uh, what kind of birthday is it? Lego, a Lego movie party. Nice. Um, let's see. Let's get some of your favorite things. What's your favorite food right now? Put your hand on so I can see you. Uh, What's your favorite food? Chicken enchilada soup. Mm. I learned that in cooking class. Oh, yummy. I'm excited to try that.
Um, what is your favorite sport right now? Basketball and kind of baseball because me, we're me, you, and my friend Hunter were, uh, were playing baseball just like four minutes ago. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite uh, favorite subject that you're learning or specialty? What's your favorite thing that you're learning about right now? Mm. Piano? Mm, cooking. Cooking, yeah. Cooking? Why do you like cooking so much? Because they make like really intense recipes and it's really fun and sometimes the teacher lets us go outside and play in the backyard while the food's cooking. Last th question is how old are you going to be tomorrow? Eight. Say I'm going to be eight years old. I'm going to be eight years old. Booyah! Did I say booyah? No. And don't say, don't, cut that out. Cut that out. I won't say what I said. Do something exciting. You have to be exciting. You want to do something crazy? Cut out everything you say. What's your craziest face? Your worst, ugliest face that you got? <laughs> Good one. Oh, that was epic. Okay, hello there. What is your name? Um, Zay David Orgel. Oh, say that again. I would bump the camera. Actually. What's your name? Zay David Orgel. And what day is it today? Well, it's kind of obvious that I've already interviewed so, my birthday. <laughs> and how old are you today? Nine. And, um,. Do you feel that you are much wiser this year than last year? Uh, kinda, yeah. What do you feel like you've learned since last year? Do you know the mysteries of the universe? Uh, no, not really, no. Still working on that? Alright. Um, what, uh, what are you doing for your birthday? Um, going to the Legacy Center. Yeah, cause... Seth might be the only one that's coming. But then we can like go to the Legacy Center, then the Megaplex, then come home. Let's see about that. Um, what did you get for your birthday? <clears throat> it was an early birthday present, and it's a bearded dragon. His name is Raptor. Can we see him? Sure. He was on my knee the whole time. Oh, wow. Okay, hold him right there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna come in close. I'm gonna come in close. Oh, look at it. Raptor, that's awesome. And, um... Let, you wanna, want me to put him on my shoulder? Yeah, let's do that for a little bit. Not for too long. Okay. Alright, you need to get him up high like that. Then awesome. you can hold on longer. Just hold on there. What kind of foods does he eat? Uh, crickets and mealworms. We keep the mealworms in the garage because, well, I put them there like yesterday because every time we took them out of the fridge, they were like all completely frozen and some, most of them were dead. So we put them in the garage where it's not as cold as the fridge, but it's still cold enough to keep them alive. Um. What do you want to be when you grow up? <clears throat> um, I still haven't changed it. It's our reptile studier. I study reptiles, like crocodiles and lizards. So you're kind of getting started on that right now? Awesome. Um, if you could give yourself a piece of advice, let's talk to your four-year-old self. If you could give your four-year-old self a piece of advice, what would it be? For that... <clears throat> a lizard's tail, they pretty much can't really feel it. It's just laying there. So if it gets... So, and they can release it. They can, like, take it off and release it. Um, when a prey is trying to catch them, like... 
if they're running from a predator, yeah, so not prey, predator. If they're running from a predator, the predator comes and tries to bite, and tries to bite like right here and stuff. We're okay. You were saying to your four-year-old self? <laughs> That when a that when uh, a lizard's well, I have a lot of facts. How about I'll tell you four of them? Okay. The lizards tell they can't really feel it. Like I can pitch this as hard as I could, he would just go. Hmm. See? He doesn't notice it. And so when a predator is trying to catch him, they usually try to go for like right here. But right here's a shield of armor. And, or they can go for a leg, but they usually wouldn't do that. So they, but this guy's real, but bearded dragons are really fast. So they scramble away, only giving their predator enough time to like latch on to the very end. But then they can unattach it whenever they want. So it's just like a big lump of skin attached to their body. And their and lizards are actually snakes. Snakes with legs. That's all they really are. But some are way cooler than just snakes with legs. Alright, so looking right here, any uh any more advice you'd give to your four-year-old self? Is that all of it? Don't hold them on your shoulder for too long, like more than four minutes, but you wanna keep it keep them perched up high. Not like right here. Or one of his fingers will fall off. You can you zoom in and show one of these? Yeah, close, yeah. See that? That was from its old owner. Apparently, the, its old owner didn't take very good care of it. It fed him the wrong food. It put po like too big of poisonous sand in the, there that could really hurt it. And they had like hermit crab sand, and it was crazy. They fed him adult reptile food, adult bearded dragon food, but he's only six months, and they didn't take very good care of him. They took drugs, and they weren't that good caretakers, but now he's in a happier home, and I'm sure he would, he's gonna live a lot longer here than there he would have lived. Last thing, um, why don't you sing happy birthday to yourself? No. <laughs> he wants to get in the sun. All right. Happy birthday, Zayden. Thanks. Okay, give me a testing. Testing, testing, testing. Tell me a joke so I can make sure it's working. I'm recording, aren't you? Do you want to tell me a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I love it. So funny. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Here's a little riddle. Um, someone went over and put their hot chocolate on the table, but she not accidentally knocked it over and it spilled all over. But yet there was not a single drop of hot chocolate in sight. How is this possible? Not possible. The cup was filled with tea. Because <laughs> there wasn't any hot chocolate in sight. It was tea, <laughs> not hot chocolate. All right. Okay, go for it. Why are penguins so popular, popular on the internet? Why? Because they have webbed feet. <laughs> Where do you get these from? Um, by Penguin Joke Book. Okay. Okay. I don't want to live there. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, please state your name. Zaid. Full name? Zaid David Oreo. And what is today? Birthday. Whoa, you knew the answer to that one. Ask me every year. <laughs> yeah, this is the 10th time we've done this. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Uh, what are we doing for your birthday? Um, we're going to cut family skate night. Is that it? And having a Star Wars birthday. Star Wars birthday. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. <coughs> okay, let's set up straight. There you go. Okay.
Okay, let's talk about you for a little while. Favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is either video games or um, going on adventures and stuff and hiking. Nice, mine too. Um, favorite food? Oh, uh, that's tough. Favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant? Check out your That's a good one. <laughs> favorite food you like to cook? Chili. Chili? I learned how to make chili. Cook chili? Yeah. I learned how to make um, chili in cooking classes. Ooh, I, you gotta make that for me. Okay. Chili. Mmm. Oh, I'm craving chili. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, favorite. Um, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mmm. Someone who studies like reptiles and animals or like be something that has to do with playing or feeding animals. You like animals? Love animals and nature. Okay. Um, let's see. Favorite video game right now? Uh, let's see if you can guess. Or Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. Star Wars, Force Awakens. Tanky's my second favorite. Okay, how many girlfriends do you have? Zero. Good answer. Um, let's see. What else haven't I asked you? Wait, let's show Raptor real quick. Since we showed him on your last video. Can you just show him? Yeah. I'll have this. Stay there, stay there. Oh, the mic, the mic, the mic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, the mic, the mic. Sit down, sit down. Yeah. Okay. Get his legs too. Oh no, oh. crap, Dad. Okay, right. Hey, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Okay, so hold him up. Who are you holding? A little higher. Who are you holding there? Mr. Raptor. We've he's grown a ton, right? We've had him a year. And he's way bigger, right? Yeah, let me get a close up of that. Look at that. He's so he was so teeny last time. What is it hard taking care of him? Easy. What's it like taking care of a bearded dragon? It's pretty hard, but it's but it's worth it. Um, because he makes you happy. You can cuddle with him, put him on your shoulder. He may poo, and these are new clothes. <laughs> oh. Do you want to take him? Is he pooping right now? Maybe. Get better not, you better not. Okay, okay, oh crap. Okay, okay, let's all just take it easy. Uh, there has been an error. Okay, okay, Raptor. Let's just no poop um, on the new clothes, okay. And we know you want to go back in there. to your happy place under the heat lamp. Okay, let's finish up. Um, okay. Where, how old are you now, 10? Yeah. Where do you see yourself in 15 years from now? What, what, what are you doing? Describe your life. You're 25 years old. How, what do you see yourself doing? Um, up somewhere kind of in the mountains in a big, cool log cabin. Um, yeah. Married, kids, pets, anything? I'm probably going to get a lot of lo reptiles when I'm older. To be a reptile man? <laughs> crawling all over you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, yeah, that'd be funny. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Do you have anything important to say to me? Like, mm. you have the best parents in the world or anything like that? Yeah, I have the best parents in the world. All right. Happy birthday. Oh. Okay. I'm not ready. Okay. Uh oh, we're doing. <laughs> the interview? Zay David Orgel. <laughs> 48. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> 11. We're going to where I do gymnastics to have a party. We have a tag to ourselves.
and then video games or hiking in nature. Yeah, i I don't really know. The guy that sells these crocodiles or something dangerous. That um, play, that Chinese place where they cook the food right in front of you—that was really cool. Yeah, that's how I was about to say it. Like, Wait, is that the name? I like turtles. Turtles. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would say the kids are now the parents. <laughs> Kids and all the parents, and the parents and the kids. <laughs> kids make rules. Cool. Man, because there's more kids than adults, they attack all the adults, so let's say yes. <laughs> Thanks. Love you. Me too. Hello, what is your name? Um, um, last time I checked, it was Z. Like I ask you every year, what day is it today? March 9th. No, Friday. What happens on March 9th every year? You get to stay up late because it's Friday? Actually, no. If it's a leap year, I guess it's not. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with birthday. Earth spray. It's another word for staying up late on Friday. Okay. Maybe I'll just say, Zade, it's your birthday. <gasps> it is? Yeah. Did you know? What's that supposed to mean? It's a rock climbing place where you attach the thing, it's like a harness, and then you climb. There's one where you like climb up the ladder, and then you jump, and if you grab onto the bar, you don't fall off. If you don't grab onto the bar, then you... Alright. Ramen noodles. Okay, what's your favorite color? Red. What's your, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? A zookeeper. A zookeeper. Nice. If you could give one message to the world, what would it be? I like turtles. He likes turtles, okay. <laughs> that time of year again? It is. Birthday interview. We're gonna keep it nice and sophisticated. I know you're a grown man now. Yeah. How old are you today? 13. 13, he's a teenager, big deal, it's a big deal. What did you get for, for your birthday? A freaking 3D printer. Yeah. What are you uh, most excited about, printing, or why do we? Why do you like the 3D printer? Why did you want, why did you want I don't know, it's just something creative to experiment with and make mini models of whatever you want. Kind of limitless what you can do with it. It's the future, I love it. Do you have a crush on anybody? No. No. What do you want to be when you grow up? No idea yet. You used to know. You used to want to like be a zookeeper or oh, veterinarian yeah. or? A sewage worker, that's what I'll be. Sewage worker? Yeah. It doesn't really matter what you do as long as it makes you happy. It doesn't even matter how much money you make. Just as long as you get your passionate about it. You wake up in the morning and you just want to get there and do it. Favorite food? My favorite food is... If you had to choose one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Paw stickers are good, I guess. Paw stickers. What's your favorite restaurant to go to? Old Spaghetti Factory. <sighs> Old Spaghetti Factory. That's a good one. You're not going to stop growing up. Everybody acts like that's my fault. Whose fault is it? <laughs> it's mine. You're my kid. Favorite color? Blue. Blue. Or purple. Or purple. Favorite hobby? Crafts and stuff like that. Crafts and stuff. Origami. origami You're yeah, super awesome it. at origami. What? <laughs> what are we doing here? I We're know. doing an interview because it's tradition. It is tradition. We've been doing this for a while now. Your birthday interview. Um, how old are you this year, Mr. Z? I'm 14. 14? Second year of the teenage years? Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Um, what did you learn about life in your 13th year? Anything exciting? Mm-mm. You didn't learn anything the whole time? I grew a little bit. You grew a lot, like a foot. Size 11 and a half, shoes, 11, 11, okay. 
you have that face on? Yeah. Okay, welcome back. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do? Favorite hobby? Right now, I'll probably just... Sleep? Yeah. Okay, so your hobby is sleep. Or I would fold something. Oh, you... Origami folding, that's a, that's a hobby. Yeah. Don't be shy. Come on. You're awesome at that. Favorite food? Gelato. Good choice. Favorite restaurant? Favorite fast food restaurant? Chick-fil-A. All the way. If you could talk to your younger self, your eight-year-old self, what piece of advice would you give yourself? I wish I could go back and be my eight-year-old self, self I am now. Because you know a lot more now. I can. I could have improved. I could have improved my situation a lot then. Yeah. And what are we doing for your birthday? Let's talk about that. We're gonna go to Alcatraz Labyrinth escape rooms. Escape rooms on the bus. That's right, on the bus. And we're gonna go to Quench It, get Crumble, and we're gonna party here. All the things. Okay. Well, I think that about does it for the birthday interviews. Aid. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Hey, hello. Hey, uh, so, um, what's going on? Turning 15. 15. A couple hours ago. How long have we been doing these birthday interviews? Since I was like four. Yeah, it's been a little while. Ten years. Old school. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm going to the labyrinth. What's your hobby? What do you enjoy doing? I don't know. Um, Swim. Swimming? Yeah. What's your, uh, yeah. dream vacation? Um, Italy, Rome. You do that again? Oh, yeah. What's the best part about those places? The gelato. The food, the yeah. gelato. What profession do you want to have when you grow up? Absolutely no idea. I'm not deciding that right now. Okay. Favorite movie of all time? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Favorite food? Favorite Had to be the Cocoa Pebble cereal. Favorite musical artist? Um, probably Green Day. All right, well, happy birthday. Thanks. Let's make it a great day. Here's to the next 85 years of life. Dade, hello, how you doing? So good. This is, we've been doing these for a while now, since you were, I think, four years old. Yeah. Tell me what happened this week. What did we celebrate? I turned 16. Sweet 16, they say. Sweet 16. That's right. Yeah, we had a bit of an unconventional birthday party this year. What did we do? Let's talk about it. We went fishing in Oregon. Did you catch one? I did. I did. It's how real, was it? It was real big. Yeah, how big? It's like... This big. <laughs> it was like half of your like right the length of your body. It was pretty Yeah, much. it was good sized. Good sized fish. What an awesome thing. Good memories. All the good feels. All the things. All the good things. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's talk about Zaid here since this is your birthday interview. Birthday interview. Yeah. What, uh, what's your favorite color? Favorite color is red. Favorite uh, fast food restaurant. Oh boy. Tough one. I honestly don't really prefer anything specifically. Just if it's food, I'll, I'll eat it. McDonald's? Sure. I'd say if you had a choice, you'd pick McDonald's. I like egg McMuffins. They're pretty oh, yeah, good. Yeah, I introduced him to the bacon McMuffin. Special order only. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Very good. Um, favorite restaurant? Not fast food. Favorite restaurant? If you, had to pick, if you got to pick tonight, I said, Zade, anywhere you want to go, where would you pick? Anywhere I want to go. I don't know. Really depends on what I'm feeling, but I would probably head back to that one sushi place we went in Oregon because they had pretty good sushi. We had some dang good sushi. Zane's yeah. Another sushi, just like me. Yeah, that's it. I'd say that's the right choice. Yeah. What's your favorite subject in school? Um. Uh, what intrigues you the most? Not what's the easiest. What is most intriguing to you? 
Um, astronomy is pretty cool, but I'm not doing that anymore. So it'd probably be psychology. Learn some cool stuff. Psychology's got some very cool things. Yeah. Yeah. Learning things about the brain. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? This has changed a lot over the years. Currently, what? I can't say. No, if you had to pick right now, Zaid, you you get you have to choose right now. What's your career? Oh, I would, right as of right now, I just work. The only thing I'm really qualified for is just no, like no, 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 no. Say, okay, so in five years, where do you see yourself working? I don't know because where I. Where would you like to be working? I don't know because I don't. I I, I don't know. I. Being a teenager is a time to kind of figure yourself out and get to know yourself and what you like to do and what your interests are and what you're yeah. good at. So as being 16, I, I couldn't tell you. I was the same way. I, in fact, I still have not figured out what I'm doing. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, I went even in high school, they would ask me. After my mission, they would ask me, and I never figured it out. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Um, so just do what you love. That's what I recommend. It's not working your life away. Not worth working your life away doing something you hate. Do something you love doing. What do you wish you'd known when you were four years old? Everything I know today. Everything. That's a lot. It's like playing guitar. What if you were good at four? As guitar you are now, you'd be Eddie Van Halen by now. I would probably not. And still no. I don't know. Okay, okay, this is, um, I love you so much, you're awesome. Love you too. Um, happy birthday, happy sweet 16, you're a driver, how do you like driving? Uh, driving's pretty fun, it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, lots to learn, it doesn't have a, no car yet, but no car. in the near future you'll acquire one. Um, favorite hobby? Favorite hobby? Besides replacing batteries on MacBook Pros. <laughs> oh, that's that's fun. Um, yeah, just playing guitar, I guess. The guitar, yeah. It's pretty fun. There's that Utah accent coming out. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Okay, um, I think that does it for the birthday interview. Anything That's else right. Do you have any jokes? I usually like to share a good joke. Is there any funny joke? I. You were into penguin jokes when you were younger. Do you got any? I do remember jokes? that. No, I don't. Any other jokes that you really think are funny? Nope, got nothing. You got nothing. Okay. Um, okay, love you. Happy birthday. Happy sweet sixteen. Yep. Okay. Hey. Welcome. Tell me your name. My name is Zaid Orgill. All right. Last Friday, what did we celebrate? Nationals. Ballroom dance nationals. Yeah. Yes. What else happened that day? It was the day after my birthday. No. That <laughs> it was Thursday, my birthday. It was Thursday. Okay, last Thursday. What did we celebrate? <laughs> uh, my birthday. And how old are you? I am 17 now. Uh, 17 years on this earth, starting your 17th year. What have you learned so far, completing 16 years um, in this life as a human? What have you learned? Don't eat the yellow snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. That's pretty much it. Good, okay, that's it. Yeah. Good. Um, okay, let's talk about you, your likes, your dislikes. Favorite subject in school? <laughs> None of them. Um, yeah. Gym? Sure. Sure. Dance? Sure. Yes. Why am I answering? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Favorite... Candy. I don't really eat candy. Favorite soda. I don't really drink yes, soda. You do. No, I don't. Only when I need energy for bottom competitions. Literally no other time. Okay, 
then what's your favorite I always drink water. Drink? Um, the ghost citrus is pretty good. Okay, favorite fast food restaurant? Mmm. Chick fil A is pretty good. Chick fil A, favorite not fast food restaurant? Um, depends on for what food. I don't know. I've got a lot of favorites. If I say, we can go out to any restaurant you want, where do you want to go? I forgot what it's called. That, that one place in American Fork, I think. Favorite color? Favorite color is. I don't like them here. Um, it's red. Red. You know, you only got one more of these interviews. I'll stop when you're 18. This is what? the second to last one. What am I going to do with my life if I have no birthday interviews, huh? You can interview yourself. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Um, okay, what uh, do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, pretty successful. You want to be successful? Yeah, stinking rich. <laughs> He wants to be rich, and you don't know the path yet, but you know you want We're, we're getting there. We're okay. working on so it. So money, 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 money. That's pretty much it. Um, what's your biggest fear? Not that you're inadequate, but that you are powerful beyond measure. Yeah, that, that's it. You don't know? <laughs> okay, if you could, uh, what's your dream vacation? Um... It'd be fun to go back to Mexico, anywhere in Mexico, really. Mexico. Would be a party. Um, will you be inviting Hunter to your birthday party this year? I know there was some issues when you were four. Yeah, yeah, I think we have might have cleared that up by now. We should be good, will so. Hunter be invited? I think he'll be invited, he'll yeah. Be excited to hear that. Yeah. It's a big deal. Uh, do you know what kind of birthday party you're going to have? I can decide between, like, a Batman and a Spider-Man birthday party. I like that. Costumes, right? Everybody must wear yeah. a costume. Yeah. Costume required. Yeah. I like the way you think. Go with, we'll of, go with that. It's a lot of spandex. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, what advice would you give to your younger 12-year-old self? You're 17 now. At 12, what advice would you give 12-year-old Sade with all your wisdom and experience from this life? Um, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty much just a slightly older 12-year-old me. I, I, I don't really You're know anything more. I'm literally the same person. Okay, well, cool. <laughs> well, happy birthday. And... Um, May you have about 80 more birthdays on this earth. <laughs> my help. At least, minimum. Right. Okay? Yeah. Live long and prosper, and I love you. I love you, too. Perfect. Okay. Uh, tell me your name. Uh, my name is Zaid Orgill. Full name? I, I want to... Zaid David Orgill? Yes. Got to throw in the best part of your name. Right. My name. Right. Is. Okay, what day is it today? It is March 9th, 2024, which marks the, my 18th birthday. Yes, 18. This is your last and final interview. That's correct. So, um, 18th birthday, what uh, was you do for your birthday party? Uh, I just had some friends over and we played some Mario Kart and... Um, sat in the hot tub. It's pretty chill. Chill. Yeah. yeah. Got some cold plunging cold in the pool. Plunge. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and the question on everybody's mind was, was Hunter invited this year? Oh yeah. Hunter was indeed invited. <laughs> it's the first person I went to. I think it's, he's been to the majority of your birthdays. He almost didn't make it to the first one, but I'm glad he made it. All right, let's talk about some of your likes and dislikes. What uh, favorite color? Um, I would have to say it's green. Green. Favorite, um, <clears throat> favorite food? Favorite fast food restaurant? 
fast food right now um, would have to be raising canes, chicken fingers. You'll drive a little bit to go. Get I that. have got. I have made the trip out to there. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Closest ones in Provo. It's good stuff. Yeah, but the best one's the Post Malone one. Where's that? Murray. Yeah, okay. It's way up there because the whole thing's pink, and you get the special combos. And the uh, collectible cups. I have three of the four. I still need to go get the fourth one. Um, what's your favorite meal that mom makes? <clears throat> um, that's a good one. I think your chicken pillows, yeah. classic. Those are those are always good. It's a family favorite. Uh, yeah. Favorite sit down restaurant. It's not fast food. You go to many of those? Not really. No, no, no. The garage grill, the place with the cars. The cars are involved. Yeah. Know. They have like an F1 car and a NASCAR and some hyper cars. It's pretty cool. And car cars. All the cars. All the cars. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about hobbies. You enjoy looking at cars and listening to cars and drooling over them as they drive by. Is that accurate? Uh, you could say that, yeah. What's your dream car? Dream car for what? Daily driving, yeah. tracking. To be fancy, to show off, like if you. Oh, money, for like. No object. The end goal. Look at me. What's the coolest car there is? I would say the biggest flex is flex, a, Koenigsegg. Know, a, a Koenigsegg. A what? A Koenigsegg. That sounds fake. <laughs> it's a real thing. They. They make hyper cars. You know Bugatti. Yeah. They are a sim. They make similar cars to what they make, like the fastest cars on the planet. Um, really lightweight, really powerful, really really rare. There's like 170 of them on the planet. Are they Italian? Or are Swedish. They Swedish. Yeah. But yeah, just like, it's just so hard to get them because there's only 175 of them or something, that. Even if you have the $4 million, it's like you can't get one because they're reserved like 10 years in advance. Do they only make them once and they're done making them? Like never again? They, they, yeah, they make like probably like 20 to 30, sometimes like one to five of a certain trim and or make or model, I mean, and That's done. Right. Yep. So very exclusive. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what... <clears throat> uh, Besides looking at cool cars, what's a hobby of yours? What hobbies do you have? Oh, um, I'd say going to the gym. gym. It's a good hobby, yeah. Yes. Fishing? Ice fishing? Ice fishing's a party. I did that. Yeah. Um, let's see, what do you want to be when you grow up? Successful. Yeah, that's the plan. No specific career path, just how do you define success? We're getting deep. This is way deep. Oh my gosh. How do you interview? How do you, interview, how do you uh, define success? I don't know. It's a good question. Is there any, do you have any jokes for us? Yeah, you know, let's just have a few good uh, jokes up your sleeve. No, let's see. I feel like most of my jokes are really offensive. I don't know. There's nothing I can say on camera. Are there G-rated ones? Um... Do I? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing's no, coming no, to mind. No jokes? No okay. jokes. I guess I'm not as funny as I used to be. <laughs> Um, just well, funny looking now instead. Just funny looking? Hey, you get yeah. that from your dad. <laughs> um, okay, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else you want to share? Oh, yeah. What, uh, what have you learned in your 18 years of life? What advice um, do you have to those young bucks still growing up? Number one, yeah. don't eat the yellow snow. Okay, yeah. I've heard that. That, that's all I got. That's all you got? Yeah, okay. No, that's all I got. In 18 years of life? That's yeah, I know. 18. Okay, don't eat yellow snow. Okay, well, Zade, happy birthday. I love you. And 
I'm excited to see where the next uh, 88 years brings you. All righty. Got till 100. Did you do the math right? No, I didn't do the math right. Okay, well, whatever. Happy birthday. Thanks, Dad. Love you, buddy. Love you.